question is from Randy Adams 2 Do endurance rep ranges in the 15 to 20 range help with help it all with strength and hypertrophy? Oh my God, yes, definitely. Yeah. Especially if you don't do this. Oh, oh man, yeah. I, I, when I first it kills me dude. when I first learned this. I mean, remember when I, I was reading bodybuilding magazines and muscle books? You know, when I was younger, and all of them said heavyweight and low reps uh, built muscle. Um, none of them recommended this 15 to 20 rep range. And then years later, there was a bodybuilder. I can't remember his name, but he talked about how he liked to train in the 15 to 20 range, and he had a very impressive physique. And being a kid, that would be what convinced me. I see someone's physique. They say something. I'm going to give it a shot. Blew my mind. Yeah. Blew my mind. I built so much muscle in such a short period of time. Now, it's not because... 15 to 20 reps is superior for building muscle. It's because I never did it. Yes. Once I jumped into it, it was such a new and novel uh, stimulus. My body responded incredibly. My greatest hypertrophy gains came from this. Mm. And, and that was, it really sent me down the rabbit hole of like reading the studies to support all this stuff. That's where I kind of pieced all this together was like you, Sal, for sure, the at least the first five years of lifting I don't think I lifted a weight over six reps. Mm -hmm. Like it was everything I had read up until that point was if you want to get big, you want to build muscle, yeah. six, six reps, six reps, reps tops, right? So everything went, and I got stronger in those years, those five years of lifting. So, you know, and I got a little bit bigger. And so I felt like, yeah, I definitely, I, nothing was going to change my mind at that point that, that, that this was another round. I believe it, for me, it was like a, some bodybuilder or trainer or trainer that I, was I met. was a five by five guy, like forever. Right. And then and he I'm still kind of like that. Tells me to go and do 15 to 20 reps and just lighten the load. And I'm like, what? That's insane. But I was like, okay, I'm going to try this for a few weeks. And it, I just blew up. And mm -hmm. I'm like, this is crazy. Yeah. I'm getting bigger right now off of lighter weight. And that, and then is you when get I, stuck in that. I did. You know, <laughs> yeah. I got stuck in that for a really long time, plateaued. And that was what kind of sent me down the rabbit hole of like reading and figuring out, oh, okay, what I need to do is I need to periodize this and, and cycle through these rep ranges. That's where the real benefit you is. You know, it's funny. I, I was thinking, like, I, I don't even know if you remember, but you introduced me to supersetting. And I never even did that before, uh, you know, through my entire athletic career. And I got to 24. And then Adam was like, I'm going to take you through this workout. I think you're working with a bunch of bodybuilders at the time. So I would like, uh, I, I was doing bench. And then all of a sudden he's like, okay, now we're going to do some push it like right away. And I'm like, right away? <laughs> Where, where's the rest? Yeah. You know, I just didn't get it. And then I'm like, ah. Oh, I, I fucking blew up, but yeah. Uh, yeah, like just changing it up, like it's gonna have a massive impact on your body. Yeah, studies studies are pretty conclusive. They show that the rep ranges between one to like thirty all build muscle. They all build muscle so long as the tension is sufficient, and the intensity is sufficient, um, and all of those will slow down and stop building muscle if you only ever do those rep ranges, regardless of what you're in. So you'll benefit through cycling through them. Now, I typically recommend anywhere between three to five weeks of staying in a particular rep range before moving out of one. Um, so you want to kind of squeeze the benefit out of that rep range before you move into another one. Um, but yeah, that's it's that's it's a great one. This is why I think that so many people uh, that take the advice of Stan Efforting are blown away uh, by his because he like preaches you know 20, 20 reps in squats. Oh, 20 rep squats! Like oh. nobody does that. That's why. Oh, that's well, why he got influenced by Flex Wheeler, right? No, no, yeah. he influenced. Oh, he Flex. Unf okay, he, he influenced Flex on doing the the twenty rep range and just blew blew his mind too like it absolutely yeah. and and the re, and what it is is that it's so novel for like 99% of the population because even people that rotate their rep ranges typically deadlifting and squatting they ain't fucking around with more than 12 15 top reps yeah. maybe right and they probably rarely do that because we all know that feels like cardio when you do oh, that oh if you've never done yeah. 20 reps of squats you are in uh, for some shit yes yeah. it is brutal grueling it is difficult, and, very difficult and so i think really it's not that the number 20 is magical it's that very few people that like sal saying the the studies are conclusive anything from basically 1 to 30 is going to build muscle is going to support hypertrophy and because so few of people ever push squats to 20 reps, just simply running three weeks where you commit to saying, okay, I'm squatting 20 reps every single every single time I squat for the next three to four weeks, watch how much your legs blow up because oh, you just never do it.